Hello everyone, my name is Riday Karel and this is my first lecture video on design and analysis of algorithm. I will be following the government book and the course contents are developed by Dilip Singh Bhatt and me myself. Now, within this course, we will be talking about designing algorithm and analyzing those algorithms to solve some particular problem. So before going to designing the algorithm and analyzing the algorithm, let's talk about what an algorithm is. Basically, an algorithm is a clearly specified set of instructions to solve a problem. Now we have lots of problem. For example, like uh, you can take as sorting as a problem, sourcing as a problem, finding sortist path as a problem. So we we'll design algorithms to solve those problems and we then analyze those algorithms and say for example so for a particular problem P there may be algorithm 1 or algorithm 2 and so on and we now we have designed algorithm 1 and algorithm 2 to solve the problem P now analyzing part uh, tells us or helps, uh, helps us to find that algorithm 1 or algorithm 2 is better so you so yeah, so an algorithm is clearly specified specified set of instructions to solve a problem or you can say that an algorithm a algorithm a takes some input takes some input and gives some output so algorithm a is a computational process that takes some values takes some value or set of value values as input and gives value or set of values as output and basically the algorithm is independent of any machines or compilers or you can say programming language you can implement algorithm in any language or in any compiler or any machines now this algorithm A has some properties and those properties are like input output definiteness, finiteness, correctness, and effectiveness. Input-output properties says that an algorithm A takes some input from a specified set of inputs and it gives an output when it is executed. Definiteness says that, says that the algorithm, the steps, the instructions of, or the set of instructions or the steps of algorithm must be clearly defined and those must not be in some there must not be any kind of ambiguity within the steps finiteness says uh, property state that the algorithm must terminate after certain finite uh, after running some finite steps and correctness uh, property says that whenever an algorithm a takes some correct input it must produce some correct output given the correct input there must be some correct output when it Terminates. Now effectiveness uh, means that we design an algorithm to solve some particular problem so this algorithm A must be effective enough to solve those problems for which it was designed. So this is all about what an algorithm is. Now let us talk about designing an algorithm. Now to solve a problem we have an algorithm or set of instructions to solve a problem. But one problem can be solved using different algorithms say p1 is a problem then you can solve this problem p1 with algorithm 1 algorithm 2 or algorithm n so these algorithms a1 a2 and an can be designed using two methods one is incremental approach and the other is divide and conquer approach so what is incremental approach and divide and conquer approach Basically, in incremental approach, we do not divide the problem into sub-problems, but in divide and conquer approach, we divide the problem into sub-problems. Now, if you know how insertion start work, then we probably know how in, what is an incremental approach is. But we, do, we are not much concerned about incremental approach. We, we focus mostly on divide and conquer approach. So algorithm 1 and algorithm 2 could be incremental up, uh, approach or algorithm 2 and 3 and 4 could be divide and conquer approach. Now let's uh, talk about what is divide and conquer approach. 
uh, this is much more important uh, in divide and conquer approach basically there are three steps one is divide conquer and combine in divide step what we do is we divide this problem into sub problems that is p is divided into sub problems p1 p2 and p n in divide step we divide the problem into sub problems and in the conquer step we recursively solve these problems that is we use some recursive method to solve this problem because these sub problems are of similar types so we solve these sub problems to find a solution say s1 s2 and s3 in con concurrent step and finally on combined step what we do is we combine these solutions are combined to find the solution of the original problem now uh, this is what all about dividing conquer approach and we'll talk uh, in detail about the dividing conquer approach in later uh, chapters so one of the example of dividing conquer approach is mercer and the example of incremental approach is insertion sort now now we have designed different uh, different algorithms to solve this problem that is the problem of sorting now among this problem say a1 is uh, incremental approach and a2 is incremental approach whereas a3 is dividing conquer approach and a4 is dividing conquer approach then the question is which one is better a1 is better or a2 is better or a3 is better or a4 is better now finding the better algorithm is analyzing of an algorithm so we'll be talking about analyzing of an algorithm once you have de designed the algorithm to solve the problem p let's say you have algorithm 1 algorithm 2 algorithm n to solve the problem p now determining how much resource this algorithm takes during execution to solve the problem p is analysis of an algorithm now by resource we mean uh, some hardware or hardware resource memory space or communication bandwidth and one of the most important is the time how much time an algorithm takes so and so we mostly focus on the com uh, computational time or the running time of an algorithm you know that algorithm a takes some input and gives some output now given an input size n or say some input size n this algorithm a the running time of an algorithm a depends on this input size so then algorithm 1 may take less time when n is given or input size is given a2 may give, take more time and similarly so determine how much time or which algorithm is efficient is basically analysis of an algorithm on the further le lecture i'll be talking about uh, how you can analyze an algorithm or how you can find the computational time and the running time of an algorithm uh, and we will see that which algorithm are better to solve uh, some some problems some basic problems uh, if you like the video you can subscribe me and if you have any confusion please comment